This driveway ghost likes to mess around. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in March of 2021, CCTV footage caught something scary and mysterious in this driveway. The video shows a rock flung or kicked onto the driveway from something off camera. A moment later, a ball bounces into view from a space to the side of the drive. It rolls around for a moment before coming to a standstill. Then a chair scrapes forward and is leaning off of the step back and forth before being flung forward onto the drive. Sounds are heard out of sight. Followed by a small footstool thrown into view from the same storage space. A strange shadow is seen on the back wall, floating in the air. It moves into frame and hovers before retreating back again. Then a fuller shadow figure makes its way into the picture. Rather, it looks like a strange creature crouched down is casting a large shadow against the wall. The floating figure appears again higher up on the wall. Were these mysterious beings causing the poltergeist activity? I guess we'll never know for sure. When you happen upon a cave carved into a mountainside, you might want to think twice before entering. Published to YouTube by The Highway 9 in September of 2017, this video serves as a warning to never ever go caving alone. The footage takes you through a deep and dark rock hewn cave. Along the way, bats are seen hanging from the ceiling, and a long black centipede like insect is climbing the walls. But the creepiest part is yet to come. As the YouTuber rounds a corner, he senses something deeper in the tunnel. He presses on, peering into the darkness, and seems to see a figure beyond. Highway writes, I'm not sure what I saw, but it scared the wits out of me. Needless to say, he fled the scene as anyone would. YouTuber Lee Stat444 writes in the comments, this is what happens when you enter a cave full of bats, dusts, and insects. You find Batman. Whether this unfortunate explorer found that or something much more nefarious is anybody's guess. But I'm gonna err on the side of the second choice. What is that? That's scary. Is that lightning? What the f is this? One night in 2018, this intense blue light was seen flickering in the sky all across New York City. The light was so intense that you could see its reflection on the water, as if it were the middle of the day. To the left and right, the sky was still dark, but in the middle was a blazing blue event of massive proportions. The official explanation is a power generator failure caused by an arc of electricity to shoot up into the sky. But here's the thing. There was no blast, no fire, no one hurt. Firefighters didn't even examine inside of the building it allegedly happened in, according to news reports. And when you look up stories about the incident, a large number of the headlines seem to go out of their way. To specifically mention it was not aliens kind of makes you wonder. Does your workplace have a paranormal whirlpool? Mine neither. But YouTuber Matu Sees does, and she's captured the crazy anomaly on video. Take a look. What is it? 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 This is a hospital in San Miguel de Tucumán. But what is causing this? At first, I thought perhaps it was a fan or vacuum blowing from above. But when it began to create this strange shape in the foam, I wasn't so sure. But YouTubers in the comments have some theories. Others refute Diego's assessment. I agree that it's not sodium or entities, so what is it? A vortex into another world? I think only someone brave enough to dive in could find out. A YouTuber named BR Henry 16 is deep in a Southern California mine when he sees a pale light off in the distance. The light doesn't have the intense brightness of modern electronics. 
Instead, it looks dim and swings at waist level, kind of like an old lantern would have. BR Henry 16 is sure that this is the spirit of a cave miner and I would have to agree. Let me know if you think the same, or if you believe this portion of the video was staged. Some scary videos just stay with you, so much so that you wish you'd never seen them in the first place. This video comes from Ghost Crusaders, published to YouTube in April of 2020. This episode explores the haunted Lechworth village. The crew's very first haunted location, which they investigated in 2014, located in Rockland County, New York. In a 1921 report, over half of the residents in Lechworth were youth. 328 of the 506 patients, ranging from the age of 0 to 16. This fact may contribute to the negative energy in the village. As many Lechworth staff said a scarcity in necessary supplies, as well as food and water. Lechworth's conditions were exposed through photographs and media investigations, and although reforms were made in the 1970s due to public pressure, Lechworth permanently closed in 1996. Since then, the complex has fallen into decay. Everything remains how it was left, instantly abandoned. The Ghost Crusaders explores this institution and all its appalling history. The crew notes in the comments, while using an SB-11 spirit box, I never thought I captured any EVPs. It wasn't until reviewing the footage for this episode that I heard the voice. And yes, I can hear other voices like multiple people talking, which I do say at one point, but I edited it out for timing. But I can't make out what they are saying. If anybody's in here, at one point, the EVP captures a voice saying, So something comes through, it's taking you around it. Oh, it's not hard to get interference. So something comes through, it's taking you around it. A moment later, the voice pleads, Please don't hurt me. Later, when they are in the bathroom, a voice, potentially from a phantom orderly of the hospital, tells them to sit, as if directing them to do their business on the toilet. That was a girl's voice. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Some of the EVPs mentioned are not very clear, but the female scream that's heard through the spirit box at one point is definitely frightening. Later, their cameras run out of battery, and while they're changing the batteries, the audio of the EVP is still captured. A voice says, leave me alone. At the same time, the investigator who heard the voice in real time, Dan, says he felt a cold breeze on the back of his neck, and he felt someone was standing behind them, whispering into his ear, Would you have the stomach to visit Lexworth Village? Neither would we. Capture. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Caphead Bolthead, this redditor wrote, I had just finished my basement with no furniture and was going to set a security camera in my basement. I had it running and noticed this. I could find the video so I screen captured it. As far as tracking that thing, I took my phone from the computer screen and tracked it with my phone. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I noticed, near the end of the footage, a very visible flying orb that was captured on camera. I believe this is what the Redditor is referring to. Orbs can be associated with paranormal activity, but also can be digital artifacts caught on a low-resolution security camera. I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but the flight pattern of the orb has me leaning towards the paranormal for this one. What do you think is going on here? You'd better grab submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Project Bad 720 This Redditor wrote, We moved out of our last house because the activity was getting out of hand. Now it's acting up again. The Redditor also included that they're in West Texas. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about.
There was certainly some discussion about this video in the comments. Creepy Girl Tia wrote, Sounds like you have brought something that a spirit is attached to, that you brought to your new place, or the spirit is attached to you. And Fiery Witchburn 333 has a similar sentiment saying, The houses aren't haunted, you are. Seek help. And the uploader responded saying, I actually believe I am being followed, so this makes sense. Do you think that's what's going on here? Let me know in the comments. Yes, poltergeists can be powerful, but this one is like its own microburst. Published by Find Ghost in August of 2021, this haunting footage was originally captured on a security camera in April of 2009, just after midnight. The footage shows an empty room with chairs stacked along one side. One chair is overturned in the middle of the room like it was flung there. And after seeing what happens next, Perhaps it was. An object falls off a table. One of the stacked chairs wobbles back and forth. Then all of a sudden, all the chairs burst as if flung forward simultaneously. A moment later, another invisible burst in the room sends all the objects flying momentarily into the air. In the last split second, everything flies sky high again. What is happening in this haunted room? And what will happen next? This video comes from a creepy YouTube channel ominously called I Know Where She Is, whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyway, whoever's filming seems to be at some old abandoned house that's covered in years worth of trash. A loud generator blocks out all sound. They turn around as if startled and shine their flashlight on the doorway, but they don't see anything. Neither did I the first time. Look again though, and you'll see the fleeing shadow of someone retreating from the doorway. Overall, it's hard to tell if this was a phantom figure, or just the angle of the flashlight playing tricks across the wall. I need to include this video because I've never come across a paranormal video before with such an even split between people saying that it's absolutely fake and so obviously real. Some people are certain that this is the legitimate ghost of a child, and others are sure that this is special effects light reflections, and a plastic bag, and a host of other non-paranormal explanations. As for me, I think that I probably would have noticed something that large moving out of the corner of my eye, so I think it could be fake. But then again, I can't say for sure unless I was there myself. Maybe the camera recorded something that was not discernible by the naked eye. This was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Skateboard Chris. The Redditor wrote, I accidentally deleted the raw video and not the TikTok that automatically saved, but this is the second time I've caught a light switch turning off and on by itself. My dog reacts too, and when the video zooms in, it does appear that the light switches turn on and off of their own accord. Hawaii Sunburnt 20 commented, I would be taking apart that light switch. Would you be curious enough to do the same? I'd be getting far away from this haunted house. When you're laying down some beats alone at night, the last thing you want to see is a phantom specter drift past a window out of the corner of your eye. This video was posted by East Coast Radio's YouTube channel in October of 2013. In the description they write, in the middle of Shershin's late night show, the lights and desk shut down and a mysterious figure appeared in the studio area. This area is secured, nobody can get in it without fingerprint authorization, and shows no one entered the studio complex apart from Shershin himself. If we take the studio's word for it, you must admit that such events would be creepy, and when you watch the video itself you feel even more unnerved. The shot shows Shershin at the mixing console, the lights dancing up and down the table, all the lights in the studio are on, a moment later they all shut off, apart from the computer monitors and emergency lights, darkness falls over the studio, Shershin picks up the phone to call someone and stands up. Watch the window off to his right, a dark hulking figure lurks past, which seems to alarm Shershin, as no one is supposed to be in the studio. 
He heads over to the window to get a better look before returning to the phone. The mysterious figure doesn't appear again. While likely not a phantom, as the mystery man looks too solid to be supernatural, what would an intruder be doing entering a studio at night, being that no theft was mentioned? It doesn't seem like burglary was the motive, and why did the lights go out? All very mysterious. Do you think you know what caused this? While walking down an empty street at night, this man encountered not one but three witches posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Enrique Glue. He hears them before he sees them. The witches are making these horror movie noises that are creepy in and of themselves. <laughs> As he walks, he spies this figure off to his right. He then makes a run for it, but their scary wails follow him. Next, he spies this figure to the left. He continues running as the screaming gets crazier. <laughs> and lastly, another figure in white coming from this alleyway to the right. Many in the comments think the noise sounds like cats or an upset husky. Others say this is obviously the call for the witch meeting. What do you think is happening here? I can't imagine it's anything good. <laughs> this is said to be a real ghost video from Singapore. A woman jogs down the road when she has a creepy encounter with a stranger who may or may not be paranormal. She doesn't hear any footsteps until he is running away. It's like he was never behind, and when she looks to where he just was, he's gone. Then he passes again and things get even scarier. You could pass somebody twice like this if you ran a wide loop around them. But why he would do this and scare her is something I doubt we could ever explain. I don't think this is paranormal, but I do think acting this way is not normal. I think it's most likely a short film, but there are no credits, and it presents itself as a real ghost video caught on camera in the description. Roofers in Miami, Florida have a creepy encounter with some scary creatures hiding among us. One of them removes a shingle and has only seconds to get away from these creepy creatures of the night caught on camera. After some more investigating, they discovered to their horror that the bats are not coming from a hole in the house, but are rather nestled under each shingle by the dozens. Suddenly, the removal job has become a lot more complicated and beyond creepy, as they have to pry open each area without getting in the way of awakening bats. At 8 minutes and 15 seconds, bats are flying into this guy's face and threatening to knock him off balance. Eventually, it looks like they've gotten rid of them all, but just knowing that I'm one shingle away from a face full of bats would probably be scary enough to make me find another company to work for, and possibly another career altogether. Gemma Mueller is Snapchatting when her filter detects the presence of a ghost standing directly in front of her. The incident is so brief that it would have been easy to miss if she had not circled the face for a better look. All of the times I've seen Snapchat misidentify a face was when it was somebody on a magazine or in a painting. I don't see how Snapchat could ever possibly detect a face in the flower pattern of her clothing, so I don't think this is a software mistake, though I guess that is possible. The face shows up a single time and never returns, further evidence that this was an actual spirit and not Snapchat acting up. If you were a fan of Tales from the Crypt, this scary video is right up your alley. Published by Proving Demons in October of 2021, this video welcomes you to the land of the no longer living. When they arrive on site, the first thing that greets them is a cemetery. Oh, oh it's a cemetery. There's a cemetery here. 
Navigating through brambles down to a lower entrance, they arrive at a barbed wire fence. It's clear that the owners didn't want anyone getting in here. They have to walk through the barbed wire to get to the door. Having traveled five hours to explore this site... Oh, please God, let it be open. We've traveled five and a half hours. At last, they arrive at the door and are thankfully able to open it. Wandering through the old church, they encounter several crypts. More open crypts and coffins are found at the end of the hallway. While well water floods the floor, a human skull is in one open coffin and there is human hair still on it. Oh, no. No. Oh, Education. Oh, oh. So, I want to point out, just sign a light on it for me. There's still hair on its head. Still got teeth. Obviously, oh, that's rotting brain in there. As he's prodding the skull head, they think they hear something down the hallway. Oh. What? What's wrong? Examining the skull more closely, you can see it still has human hair and teeth. As they're talking about how it felt like someone was walking behind them, someone shushes them from what sounds like the corner of the room. Is that it? I've been at that room later. What's that? The shh. Somebody just shh us. It seems this team of urban explorers has disturbed the peace. All I know is I would never be going back to that place. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. Place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200-year-old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Let's get real. see the old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. There's a whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So. There's going to be a flash of light, so it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso, and there's that flash of light, and then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here, don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life. As you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity. Even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. Village, YouTube Team HD Adam Paranormal finds themselves crying from fear in this mysterious abandoned village. That's because it's not totally abandoned. In the darkness of this derelict hut, they start to hear noises. Kalk, kalk gidelim, kalk gidelim. Ne oldu? Kalk gidelim. Ne oldu? Kalk gidelim, Hüsnü, kalk gidelim bak. Deprem oluyordu ya, depremin farkında mısın? They ask the spirit to prove its presence. Burada olduğunu kanıtla. Cin! With the light back on, the presence continues to shake the room. When they ask it to move the door, the spirit complies.
Kapıya doğru bak. Kapıya doğru bak. The team thinks the entity playing around with them is a genie. I think, genie or not, whatever is here will soon be done playing. Number 10. This next video, made to raise awareness, is supposed to replicate voices in your head. Among the many visual and audio delusions is one in particular that really gets to me, a girl with no eyes who appears at random. The girl with no eyes is apparently very common and reported by many. The following scene is an example of how she usually comes to them, or rather for them. She is here. Nowhere is safe from the girl with no eyes, because once she is in your mind, there's nowhere to hide. This is what it's supposed to be like when she finds you. No one knows why so many people have reported seeing the exact same figure. Maybe it's a subconscious manifestation of a common fear we all have. Or maybe it's some type of possession that's driving people to madness. If this video is just a simulation, then I can only imagine how terrifying the real thing must be face to face. Have you ever been afraid of your own shadow? What if you know the animated shadow you're seeing is not yours at all? YouTuber Average American 2019 caught the shadow person on video in August of 2018. As he's descending the stairs of this building, a distinctive shadow is seen on the wall, passing in the opposite direction. Then as they descend a further stairwell, a second shadow person appears again. The man recording the footage notices the shadow person in real time. Luckily, he is with friends, so he can simply laugh off the incident. I'm guessing he'd feel differently if he was alone in this encounter. In paranormal lore, shadow people are considered by many to be masses of living humanoid figures. Paranormalists believe they are the presence of a spirit or other entity. While some think shadow people are creatures of evil intent, others consider them neutral or even helpful extra-dimensional beings. Whatever you think they are, this video will surely make you afraid of the dark. YouTuber Stevanka, also known as Stephanie from 90 Day Fiance, is certainly no stranger to having bizarre moments caught on camera, but nothing could have prepared her for a creepy surprise like this. I don't really talk about paranormal stuff on my channel. The reality TV star thinks she could have possibly caught real evidence of a paranormal ghost sighting on her home CCTV system. Let's analyze the events and see if this spooky encounter is real or fake. One night, while entertaining her family, Stevanka casually opens up the security app to check her CCTV cameras. That's when she discovers some mysterious activity going on in front of her house. Eventually it dawns on me like, that's a figure of a person. Within 10 seconds, the bizarre figure seems to transform into a solid white, ghostly floating form. Stevanka herself alternates between believing and not believing the activity is paranormal. I don't want to get anything wrong, so these are her exact words at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. I think it's a ghost. Everyone I've talked to, everyone I've showed it to, even skeptics are like, that's a ghost. So she thinks it's probably paranormal, which is fair, but I do have a theory. The porch light and the lamppost are reflecting light back into the camera, which could create this bizarre effect in the middle. But with that said, Stevanka has tried to recreate this scary moment many times, and she has a legitimate question. Maybe it was a, a glitch, but then like if it was a glitch, then why did it stop? Like why did it only happen that one night? I can't say for sure, but I suspect that one of the lights was out when she tried this again. I think both of the lights have to be on at the same time for this bizarre occurrence to happen. But if she did replicate this under the exact same lighting conditions and saw nothing, then it would prove that this is a mysterious figure caught on tape after all. What if you heard this sound outside your home? Posted to TikTok by Pablo Riviero 702 this scream sounds like chills made audible. Happening outside the door of what appears to be a trailer, the scream is followed by dramatic banging on the door. The 
y está sucediendo en estos momentos así que así que no sé qué Whatever's outside starts shaking the trailer. It sounds like it's banging on every window, but you cannot see what's outside in the darkness. In a second video, you can hear even more terrifying sounds right outside. It honestly sounds like a demon. It continues to bang on the trailer. Would you answer the door? Come on, fellow adult, you can handle it. This security footage will make you forego your chores. TikToker Little and Large 13 was retrieving her laundry from the line when this happened. Watch the crack in the fence. A skull white face peers into her backyard. Although that's some creepy CGI in my opinion, it does kind of look like a harmless panda to me. Nevertheless, if I saw this in my backyard, I'd be nothing short of terrified. A YouTuber named Furious Otter is piloting his nosy drone across a long stretch of woods when he comes across a mysterious all-white object that doesn't match the native scenery. He grows curious and decides to take the drone closer to the ground to get a better look. It's a decision that he probably now regrets. It doesn't look like much at first, but the situation becomes much more clear after he zooms in. A witch-like figure appears to crouch low while watching the drone from the tree line. I can't tell if they are waving at them or brushing something out of their hair, but either way, this strange hermit just shouldn't be out here this deep in the woods. This video is terrifying if it's real, but a couple of things make me question its authenticity. I know drones can get a lot closer than that, so why didn't he try to get closer to see if they needed help instead of immediately flying away? I guess he could have been worried about losing his drone or possibly even getting cursed, so he just got out of there fast instead. If that's the case, then I can't say I blame him. Let me know what you think you would have done if you were there. Is this a goblin? An extraterrestrial, whatever it is, it's trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, the video shows a gangly creature sitting dejectedly at the foot of stadium seating. It's hard to tell what this creature is, even more so after it looks up at us. Its glowing eyes and pointed ears do tell us one thing, it's not human. It moves to get up. And when it stands, you see just how gangly it is. Its long, thin limbs are barely able to lift its large, barrel-like body, but looks can be deceiving. On its feet, it turns out that it's quite nimble. <laughs> that sound was terrifying. We can assume the cameraman lived to share this footage, but we can't assume he didn't pee his pants in the process. <laughs> the footage looks real enough to be considered authentic. Even the creature's shadow seems to fall in accordance with all other shadows in frame. But this is, in fact, a production. I tracked down the original source, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. I'm happy to find that this creepy goblin doesn't exist in reality, at least I hope. Matt Petrez thinks this dark and empty hotel elevator looks strange, but he doesn't want to take the stairwell so he gets on anyway. It's a long and creepy ride in total darkness that does not end well. 
Matt knows he has made a mistake as soon as the door is shut, but it's too late to do anything other than stare at the numeric red panel as it counts down the floors. Then on the fifth floor this happens. Matt claims the elevator stopped moving and he was stuck for a long time. I guess he could have just covered the camera with his hand and made the story up, or maybe something bad really did happen on the fifth floor to cause this potentially paranormal elevator ride. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby, at least no one alive. This video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries. But something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. Imagine traveling down a busy city street when suddenly cars, buildings, and even the sidewalk starts to rumble beneath your feet. That's exactly what happened to the South Asian country of Nepal in 2017. Onlookers watch in horror as power lines snap and spark on the roads. Everyone scatters for cover only to find there is nowhere to run when the earth itself is the problem. Meanwhile, store interiors become absolute chaos as heavy items clatter to the ground from the shelves and entire aisles topple over. The very foundation of the building itself threatens to collapse under the immense shaking. Watch again and you'll see this brave woman pick up her child seconds before a cascading avalanche of items would have surely crushed him. It's amazing how quickly someone can become a hero with barely a moment's thought. We've all encountered a Karen or two in our lives, but it's a rare occasion that we're faced with a Karen this far out of control. A ballistic individual was captured on video standing in the middle of an intersection, facing a bus, screaming at the top of her lungs. It's unclear what she's saying and why she's so angry. But what's become clear is that she's chosen to take her rage out on the bus. She targets the front window with her fist, shattering the glass. When she moves to the side door, what she's screaming is finally audible. She's telling someone to get off the bus. She's there all that. All those marks. But whoever it is she's screaming at does not get off the bus, so she runs across the street, likely in order to escape prosecution for the damage done to public property. No further information could be found on this incident, so it's unknown what preceded the meltdown or followed it, if it was provoked, or why it escalated to this degree. Regardless, it seems like this went from 0 to 100 pretty quickly. It looks like zombies want to get out of bed every once in a while. Published to YouTube in October of 2011 by Underwater Ireland, this YouTuber sets out into a purportedly haunted graveyard in Ireland. The cemetery is innately creepy, with trees growing into steeple-like coverage as she enters. After exploring a bit, she sets up a camera to film overnight. What she manages to capture on film will send a chill down your spine. The gate opens in the middle of the night. No one is there. It doesn't appear to be windy. Then something flashes on the screen. It's hard to make out. As some in the comments point out, if you watch the clip in slow motion, you can see a ghostly demon face. It is quite clear if you manage to pause it at the right moment. Some say it looks like a skeletal hand. Others a white orb spirit. What do you think it could be? Is this the zombie outbreak we've all been waiting for? 
Only one way to find out for sure. A mysterious shadow creature sighting was recently caught on dash cam in Falmouth, Maine. That's worth further investigation. The all black shape darts in front of the vehicle in a split second and then it's gone. Seemingly moving faster than any animal should be able to. I'm at a loss as to what could this bizarre sighting possibly be, but I'm guessing it's either a wildcat, a paranormal mist, or something completely different. I wouldn't be surprised if that stretch of road is haunted, so I'll be on the lookout for more shadow figure videos in this area. A YouTube channel called The Real Revealed goes to Sanjay Van one of the most haunted woods in all of India. To top it off, they decide to wait until 3 a.m. before ghost hunting. I'm not so sure about the supposed first encounter though. They say this is the sound of a spirit, but I think it's just the cameraman breathing. <laughs> the next voice, however, sounds much different and I agree could be paranormal. It sounds distant, almost like a radio, but they are in the middle of nowhere and wouldn't get reception out here. Translate what is being said by them if you can. <laughs> I may not know what they're saying, but I do see this light appear as soon as this strange voice is heard. It's probably a bug, but if it's not, then this is a coincidence worth mentioning. The voice trails off a short while later, and they aren't able to hear it again or find the source. I think they probably really did make contact with the supernatural, but I will reserve my final verdict until after someone is able to translate this video. Now I must quickly acknowledge that this sport is called football everywhere outside of North America. This ghost is a ball hog. Watch the soccer ball. While the first little twist is disturbing enough, the fact that the ball then loosies this Charlie Brown all on its own is even stranger. Those in the comments are wondering how, and I'm guessing it's either remote control activated or something is attached to the torn flap of the ball, which you can see here. Or you know, it could be a ball hogging ghost. I'd prefer that. In the 9th century, Mount Fuji erupted over six months, burying entire villages. This led to dense forest growing over a massive lava field known as Aoki Gahara or the Sea of Trees. YouTuber Steve Ronin visits Japan's most haunted forest and he is in danger. While standing and talking in the darkness, a loud roar is heard off screen. The strangest thing about this is the guys don't seem to notice or acknowledge it. The capture. Why, why is an SRS? SLS. Obviously, I know what SRS means. They're hearing things though, and the spirits give them a clue. Strangled. Again! Again. What the f Bro, that was a weird voice because it sounded like from there and then just circled around us. It just said strangled again as well. This could be a different Double? person now. Like, strangled again? They speak to the spirits with a recording device, and the spirits tell them exactly where they are. What? Sound like this is this is, hang on, let's, let me what is this? Are they reaching out from the beyond? I don't know if it's just my knowledge about this place's haunted history, but the ambiance here makes me feel unsettled, and that roar is going to haunt me. Wait, what, what is an SRS? SLS. A man from Sri Lanka incites panic in the sky when he announces that he is going to take himself out along with everyone else on the plane. The pilot makes an emergency landing in Melbourne, Australia, where a special police unit boards the flight. It looks like they are going to grab this man's ankles to forcibly remove him, but they reach past him to retrieve a mysterious black bag left behind by the person responsible, who has already been taken into custody. The man was threatening everyone with a device, which later turns out to be nothing more than a large Bluetooth speaker. 
The man was eventually taken to a mental health facility. It's worth mentioning that this was the same Malaysia airline that had a plane go missing over the Ukraine years ago, so they really were not taking any chances this time. Adobe. Is this Adobe from the 1800s Haunted? YouTube team Mackie and Amanda investigate the home and its surrounding forest. As they arrive, they capture an orb floating on the left of the screen. 100%. Um, before we turn Did you see it? 100%. While using a spirit box to communicate, a strange white streak appears on the window. It's fine. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like she grabbed your shoulder and be like, Shh. Watch again. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like she grabbed your shoulder and be like, Shh. Like, like, it's almost like she's like, like, it's like, Was that a falling star? Later, Amanda feels a pain in her side, and simultaneously, a strange grunt is heard. <sighs> What does it feel like? It like my normal pain. It felt like squeezing. That's weird. Ow. Could that have been the camera? In the darkness, they hear what sounds like footsteps. <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like footsteps from over there. I'm trying to light. They do sound like footsteps. Although they don't find anyone, they hear other noises in the night. I want to turn all the way up to it. Do you hear that? And what they describe as a raspy voice. <laughs> to me, that sounds like Mackie, but then they encounter a surprise in the darkness. There's a lot of eyes. Where? They're deer! <gasps> Hi, babies! <laughs> oh, my they're just deer! Deer are camped out in the fields. They don't seem to be afraid of whatever presence lurks here. So although this video boasts its fair share of anomalies, I don't think the presence here is evil. Number 6 Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents in fact claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? A creepy tunnel creature caught on camera in 2011 remains an unexplained mystery to this day. A service technician is exploring a tunnel via maintenance robot when this creature, whose origins are unknown, suddenly runs by on CCTV video. I did some more investigating and can confirm this particular creature sighting is real. It was originally posted by a water company in the UK called United Utilities. United Utilities has been making professional corporate videos for over 10 years and looks legit as can be. Also, Rayner Street is an actual street in the small English town of Ashton under Lynn where they operate, so it all seems to check out. While I can say this video is real, I can't identify exactly what this fleeting figure really is. It moves too fast to be human, yet it walks upright and the sewer technician thought he saw a tail too, which to be honest I don't see. Anyway, there's only two miles of twisting pipe down here with nothing to live on. So is this a haunted tunnel or what? Dr. Lost Syndrome published this video in May of 2014 writing, a little short video where Maskey gets some payback for the taggers ruining his hideout. The video follows a pair of teenagers in what looks to be an abandoned building in the wilderness. The building is full of graffiti, and one of the lads starts spraying some more over top of it. That's when they hear this strange noise. The first time they hear it, they brush it off. The second time, they start to wonder what's up. The camera is passed off to the dude while the girl continues spraying in the room. 
The man heads outside, looking around the area and shouting hello. Hello? When there's no response, the two pass off the camera again, and then again, as the girl goes to check if there's anyone out there, while the man continues spray painting. After painting a bit, the man scans the graffiti in the room. That's when he arrives at the door to find Maskey outlined in the doorway. The masked man charges him and knocks him to the ground. It appears the man is knocked out cold. What is unclear is what Maskey did with his body. Maskey's revenge is certainly not something you would want to think about as you fall asleep at night. And trust me on that one. The Terror Al Extremo crew wanders the abandoned grounds of this haunted witch's house. In the middle of a forest, they hear a shrill shriek. <gasps> While it could be human, it could also be harmless. It sounds like a bird call, but shortly after, a figure that they capture in a window seems to suggest otherwise. Are the legends true? Is this the witch that's said to haunt this place? I'm starting to think that it wasn't a bird. While hunting for skinwalkers in Skinwalker Village, things start to go horribly wrong for YouTuber Hype Mike and his crew. First, they smell something rancid, and they soon find out what it is. Dude. What is that smell? That's awful. <laughs> oh, you smell that? It's like rotting flesh or something. Go, 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 go. Hurry. What the f this way, this way. After coming upon the Skinwalker feasting, they take shelter in an outbuilding, but something is waiting outside for them in the darkness. Get the oh. Hello? Who's that? Hello? Will they make it out alive? If they do, it'll be a close call. But you'll have to watch the full video to find out. You expect to come across witches at night, but in the broad light of day, somehow that's even scarier. Published in July of 2019, this video purports to show a witch spotted in Mexican ruins. A man is shown exploring the ruins. Little does he know, over his left shoulder, at a short distance glides the shadow of a witch. At first, the men are oblivious, but as they turn around and walk back towards the entrance, the figure appears again. This time not lurking in the shadows, but rather in the light of day. The men are aware of its presence this time, and as they start to exclaim, the witch takes flight, up, up, and away hopefully as far away as humanly possible. The video is certainly blurry, which makes determining what this figure actually is quite difficult. Chip Chen is the name given to a South Korean woman who was discovered by the website 4chan. They found her live stream one fateful day and proceeded to watch every moment of her life for years. What they found was both curious and startling. For one thing, Chip Chan would often pass out in strange positions for over 12 hours and then do things like barricade her door closed with whatever she could find. She rarely left the apartment and appeared to be in a lot of distress at all times. 4chan eventually came across her blog and found out that she thought she was being stalked by the local police. She even says that they have implanted a chip into her that allows them to control when she sleeps and how she feels. Here's a video of Chip Chan silently screaming as they supposedly activate her implants and mess with her mind. There's no evidence that any of what she is saying is real, and as of now, people either completely believe her story or else think that she has a serious mental disorder. It hasn't been on in a long time, but maybe someone can translate the text on her page and make sense of what she is saying. All in all, nobody has been able to track her down to talk with her, and her identity is unknown. All we know is that somewhere in South Korea, a woman was recording herself all of the time as a way of exposing her tormentors to the world. Christmas is apparently a time for scary things caught on camera, according to one grumpy ghost who is not exactly in the holiday spirit.
I'm not 100% convinced that this scary ghost video is real, but I have to admit it's awfully strange how their dog barks right before it happens. It sounds like the dog knows something is already in the house, something paranormal, or perhaps they are simply using a string. Paranormal explorers Mackie and Amanda are investigating two haunted South California estates in this scary video, The Kellogg House and The Mag House. Published in March of 2022, they are in the Kellogg House when something touches Amanda's arm. Oh, something just touched my arm. What? Something just touched my arm. Really? Super lightly, but... I like so felt it just going like super light. A moment later, she says it feels like the whole house is shaking. Later, they're sitting in one of the rooms when they hear someone knocking. Mackie also mentions that she heard someone's voice earlier. No. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I thought I heard it so loud. It sounded like a lady talking out there, like I was probably a worker, but I remember Eli said that he's the only one he hears. While in the dining room, they hear a beeping noise. It is not coming from one of their paranormal devices. Not long after, they hear footsteps, and then those footsteps sound like they're running right at them. Anyone's up? No, really, what is that? I don't know. Is someone upstairs? Later, they're in a child's bedroom when one of their paranormal devices picks up an EVP and then a second one. They speak to the spirits using a spirit box who tell them that they're present. So. Yes, yes. What? Here. Mm -hmm. What room are you in? Here. Then, when they leave the room, the music box is triggered again. Is something following them around these haunted estates? What does it want from them? This is the master bedroom right here, and this is where they wanted us to come, so... It's not going off. Something's following oh. us in here. Oh, you're right! Something just, it, was, it was you, it went off, and then it was me, it went off, and then there was... Warning to young explorers. Don't enter abandoned malls at night. Jask and Ho published this footage in September of 2018, illustrating exactly why, explaining that the mall in question is Charlestown Outlet Mall in the US, he writes, This is an older video I thought I'd drop for you guys. The mall closed for good over 30 years ago, and I did record a video here before, but there was talk about the basement level, so we went in. While the first nine minutes reveal your typical exploring of the abandoned mall, nine minutes in, one of the crew peers into a dark room beyond, and that's when he hightails it out of there, followed closely by the rest. One of the bunch says they were running for nearly five minutes. According to the one who first ran, he saw someone in the room beyond. Although the video didn't capture the figure, we can only imagine what this group came across. And with that in mind, I think they made the right choice getting out of there ASAP. Three bankers have a conversation during a slow day when the silhouette of a child darts across the empty lobby. Watch this part and try to translate what is said immediately after. <laughs> The lobby area gets plenty of sunlight, and yet the figure looks completely covered by shade. Not a single detail is visible as it runs by, which makes this CGI or a shadow person. And when they go over to where it just was, nothing is there at all. You never hear the door open or any footsteps. It's simply gone. A YouTuber named Hello Ryan Holmes lives in a house that you and I want no part of. Scary noises have become part of a daily ritual stemming from paranormal activity, or so he suspects. So when it happens again, Ryan grabs a camera to see if he can catch a ghost on video. Did you just, did you just see that? I definitely just heard somebody run up the stairs. Ryan thinks he hears creeping noises of a ghost running up the stairs. Ghost or not, he is definitely not alone. Camera in hand, Ryan gets no further than the kitchen before he realizes. 
What the f- All of the cabinets have mysteriously opened on their own, and when he goes to close them... Why the f*** is everything open? What the f***? What the f***? He turns around only to find that the ghost has moved every object in his kitchen back to where it was. It looks normal at first, but I think there is an editing cut here at two minutes when he briefly zooms into the cabinet for no reason at all. He could have stopped recording, moved all of the objects, and then started recording again to make it seem like it was all done in one take. When the paranormal team Casadores de Sombras went to investigate this ritual site, what they found was a living nightmare. As they approach the site, they find what appears to be a body levitating high above a fire pit. They later hear something in the surrounding woods. Now, back in the safety of their vehicle, they're left to ponder what their eyes saw. I can't go with Without context, it's difficult to know what's going on here. Is this person being levitated by some dark magic? And for what purpose? I can't provide any insight on this one, but I do know that I'm super creeped out by the events here. The world is filled with lost radio signals from long ago. One of these many mystery stations was this broadcast from East Germany that started in the 1970s. We still don't know what it was, only that it sounded like it could drive a person to madness if they listened for long enough. Every so often, the overwhelming wall of noise would give way to a group of men singing in twisted voices. Maybe it's just me, but this almost sounds like some kind of ancient ritual or chant. The broadcast abruptly stopped in 1990 after about 20 years. Give me your best guess as to what this broadcast was used for, because I haven't the slightest clue. This old VHS footage was taken by construction workers during an interior renovation project in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's daytime and well lit, and the building still has a constant eerie vibe. They claim to have seen the ghost of a girl walking across the property, and the air grew cold around them, even though they are in the south. One of them records this mysterious noise coming from the hallway. It sounds like a moan from behind. Take a listen. He calls out for his friend Tom and picks up a strange whispering noise as he turns. Hey, Tom! He pauses outside of an especially dark room and feels watched by a presence within, a force that strips him of his bravery and leaves him small and vulnerable. He sees movements and bolts down the hall. Oh, 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 I think I can see the outline of something in the corner here. When the room is brightened, could this be the ghost girl they were talking about? He decides to take one last look in the room and cautiously peeks inside. Rushing footsteps come from within and send him screaming off the job site. YouTube team Mackie and Amanda visit the most haunted hotel in Virginia City, the Silver Queen Hotel, and the haunting starts right away. As they're discussing matters, a creepy whisper is heard. I had a whole thing worked out in my head and it's just gonna shit fell. That's a new bonus free bullet. That's a new bonus free bullet. I am so excited. While they're getting stuff ready, another whisper is heard. It's definitely sort of moving again. They arrange a REM pod in the bathtub, which is where a ghost named Rosie is said to appear. It's instantly triggered. Perfect. Okay, Rosie. Oh. 
Rosie, does she just touch me? Did she? She does not step away. As they're considering that Rosie's name may actually be Julie, they hear another whisper. Julie is her name. Is that... Is, I wish we had another... Did you hear that whisper? Yeah. This time, they hear the whisper in the moment, and later, they hear footsteps and a distinctive knock. It's Amanda. Although her feet seem to be dragging, Rosie likes it here. Well, they're vulnerable. Is that true? Especially, I like it here. Especially with people here. I like it here. They try to speak to Rosie through the REM pod. You were pretty upset earlier, and. We said that we would turn this on and ask you why. Can you make that stop? Is Rosie confirming that she was upset? Later in the hallway, they hear a distant scream. They better not. Oh. They better not. Oh. They better not. And one last whisper to send chills down your spine. I don't know. Is Rosie following Mackie and Amanda around the Silver Queen? It seems like it to me. And after they disturbed her bathtub soak, I don't think they'll be able to get rid of her anytime soon. Legend has it this former asylum is haunted, and this video appears to be proof of it. Posted by Zombie Platypus to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says this was filmed in what used to be the living quarters at a mental institution called CSUCI. The quarters are now a modern dorm room. The clip shows a plate of shrimp moving across the counter on its own for more than half a minute. Its movement is jarring, as if it's being nudged around the counter every so often. Zombie Platypus explains that they started filming when one of them saw a quick but long movement that made them scream. She says no magnets or strings were used, and the dishwasher wasn't on. Most commenters agree with Redditor, DieFitH, who suggests... This may not be paranormal activity at all. He writes, If the bottom of the plate has a lip, and it is wet causing a nice seal, and you put hot food on the plate, and if the counter is ever so slanted, it can cause the plate to move, the steam causing a hovercraft-like effect. However, the Redditor says that when they tried to recreate the situation under the exact same conditions, they never could get it to move like that. A few Redditors in the comments don't have an answer for the Redditor, but having visited the campus, acknowledged that the place made them uncomfortable, and gave them the heebie-jeebies? Is it just the creepy history of the former institute that pushes us towards a paranormal explanation? Or are former patients just hungry? I've, could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? Published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the Ghosts subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weatherspoon in Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. Pasha Pal is a popular YouTuber in Russia who gets into some pretty crazy adventures. But only one video is creepy enough to make this countdown. I'm talking about the time he and Maria went exploring some woods that are said to be frequented by members of a secret society. They bring their camera, but if caught, scary things will no doubt happen to them in a moment's notice. They are outsiders in this world, 
Soon they come across a fire pit and know they've found a main camp. Some discarded red candles are near a small altar with this picture, and I would like to know more about who this is a picture of and what they're known for. That way we can know more about what this society is up to. They decide it's not worth risking their lives going any deeper and start to make the long trip back to his bike. That's when they realize they've already stayed too long, saw too much, and now they can't leave the forest alive. Maria thinks she hears somebody and it appears she's right. Lurking in the forest is this mysterious figure who tries unsuccessfully to step out of view. There is still enough time to run away, and so they take off as fast as they can. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him, so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video. On one hand, this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water's surface, like a gigantic sea snake. On the other hand, this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat, a tow line perhaps. The fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious, but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera. It all depends on how much you believe him. Oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1,200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast, ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures. Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. Described by Redditor Yeezus underscore C as footage of something. I'm going to play you this video so you can see what that something is. <sighs> Pulled from security footage, an office chair is captured spinning on its own, and toward the end of the clip, it makes a final turn. <laughs> Those in the comments have several theories. Well, I think it could be any one of these theories. I wouldn't rule out a passed away office worker with an axe to grind. I can picture a horror movie about it already. Outside for a nice peaceful evening stroll. When you encounter this, posted to TikTok by Daniela Duque, the uploader says in the clip, something happened that changed my life check. The clip shows at least a dozen people all dressed in white, wandering down the empty street carrying torches. It's not clear what's going on here. Many in the comments are saying this looks like the set from a movie. Others suggest the horror film Mid Somar. Well, some think this group is cult-like, perhaps performing a ritual. Still others consider this is more likely the purge. Are you ready for it? I'm thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.